to all those who voted for me and to whom I pledged my utmost. My commitment to you and to the progress we seek is unyielding. You have inspired and touched me with the stories of the joys and sorrows that make up the fabric of our lives. And you have humbled me with your commitment to our country. 18 million of you from all walks of life. Women, women and men, young and old, Latino and Asian, African American and Caucasian, rich, poor and middle class, gay and straight, you have stood with me. And I will continue to stand strong with you every time, every place, and every way that I can. The dreams we share are worth fighting for. I entered this race because I have an old-fashioned conviction that public service is about helping people solve their problems and live their dreams. I've had every opportunity and blessing in my own life, and I want the same for all Americans. And until that day comes, you'll always find me on the front lines of democracy fighting for the future. This election is a turning point election. And it is critical that we all understand what our choice really is. Will we go forward together or will we stall and slip backwards? Now think how much progress we've already made. When we first started, people everywhere asked the same questions. Could a woman really serve as commander in chief? Well, I think we answered that one. African-American really be our president, and Senator Obama has answered that one. Together, Senator Obama and I achieved milestones essential to our progress as a nation, part of our perpetual duty to form a more perfect union. Now, on a personal note, when I was asked what it means to be a woman running for president, I always gave the same answer, that I was proud to be running as a woman, but I was running because I thought I'd be the best president. But, but, but I am a woman, and like millions of women, I know there are still barriers and biases out there, often unconscious, and I want to build an America that respects and embraces the potential of every last one of us. I ran... I ran as a daughter who benefited from opportunities my mother never dreamed of. I ran as a mother who worries about my daughter's future and a mother who wants to leave all children brighter tomorrows. To build that future I see, we must make sure that women and men alike understand the struggles of their grandmothers and their mothers and that women enjoy equal opportunities, equal pay, and equal respect. Let us, let us resolve and work toward achieving some very simple, 
propositions. There are no acceptable limits and there are no acceptable prejudices in the 21st century in our country. So proud that from now on, it will be unremarkable for a woman to win primary state victories. Unremarkable to have a woman in a close race to be our nominee. Unremarkable to think that a woman can be the President of the United States. And that is truly remarkable, my friends. that we couldn't go all the way, especially the young people who put so much into this campaign. It would break my heart if in falling short of my goal, I in any way discouraged any of you from pursuing yours. Always aim high, work hard, and care deeply about what you believe in. And when you stumble, keep faith. And when you're knocked down, get right back up and never listen to anyone who says you can't or shouldn't go on. As we gather here today in this historic, magnificent building, the 50th woman to leave this earth is orbiting overhead. If we can blast 50 women into space, we will someday launch a woman into the White House. And although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. And the light is shining through like never before, filling us all with the hope and the sure knowledge that the path will be a little easier next time. That has always been the history of progress in America. Think of the suffragists who gathered at Seneca Falls in 1848 and those who kept fighting until women could cast their votes. Think of the abolitionists who struggled and died to see the end of slavery. Think of the civil rights heroes and foot soldiers who marched, protested, and risked their lives to bring about the end of segregation and Jim Crow. Because of them, I grew up taking for granted that women could vote, and because of them, my daughter grew up taking for granted that children of all colors could go to school together. Because of them, Barack Obama and I could wage a hard-fought campaign for the Democratic nomination. Because of them and because of you, children today will grow up taking for granted that an African American or a woman can, yes, become the President of the United States. And so, when that day arrives and a woman takes the oath of office as our president, we will all stand taller, proud of the values of our nation, proud that every little girl can dream big and that her dreams can come true in America. And all of you will know that because of your passion and hard work, you helped pave the way for that day. So I want to say to my supporters, when you hear people saying, or think to yourself, if only, or what if, I say, please don't go there. Every moment wasted looking back keeps us from moving forward. 